Hi, Nail Fam. I hope that you guys are doing well. I have received a wonderful package from this brand called Gelfully. I have actually reviewed their products on my channel before. If you haven't checked that video out, definitely check it out. I'll have it linked down below. She uh, reached out and said she would send me some PR products. So I am super excited that this box has finally arrived. So you and I are going to go ahead and unbox all of the amazing products that she has been kind enough to send me. Oh my goodness, look at how everything is so cute. Okay, and I see some favorite products of mine. Oh my goodness. The first thing that I have here is 2XL Square. You guys know, you guys know that I'm obsessed with square nails and the fact that she sent me a 2XL. I am over the moon. In the first package that she sent me, let me just grab um, the first the stuff. Now in the very first package that she sent me, um, she actually sent me long square and they were sizes zero to nine, 504 pieces. I love, love her nails because they are wide thumb friendly. Her sizes are much bigger than the typical cheap um, nail, full cover nails. So and these are so cough gel tips. So I'm very happy about that. So with this one, we get 360 pieces and it's zero through 12. And I went ahead and found my sizes. So this is a size two. Usually a size zero does not fit me. Her size two fits me and I've already filed and buffed and everything so we're going to be applying these today look at that length that's a good length and you know what I love too it's not a high apex like the um 3xls or the 2xls from AliExpress oh my gosh I'm so 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 happy so thank you so much Shelfly. um I follow her on Instagram so she probably saw that I used to do a lot of long nails and decided to send me so that was very thoughtful okay so the next thing that I'm going to pull out here is one of my absolute favorite products from her this is the third i believe premium rubber base that she has this one's called milana i have the other two that she previously sent me and we swatched these already this one is called helen and this one is called svetlana and i already swatched these as well just gonna grab the swatch sticks of these here so that's what those two colors look like beautiful nude colors so now we have the third one. Oh my gosh that is beautiful i think that might be my new, that might be my new favorite so we are going to be doing um a swatch of this as well so now that we have three rubber base gels guys you know that i'm obsessed with rubber base gels now i'm not going to try to sell you something that i don't think you need rubber base gels is the way to go she also sent me another one of her gel glues. I got one of these in the previous package that she sent me. And I've already told you guys, this has been the fastest curing and the strongest gel glue that I've ever used. I tried to soak my nails off um, with water and olive oil. I was just doing a TikTok hack. Wouldn't come off. Did not come off at all. I had to literally soak them off with acetone. So if you're, and this, there was no bubbles, there was nothing. Again, Go and watch that very first video of me honestly showing you how this product works. She sent me a second one. I absolutely love it. It's a must have if you do full cover press on nails. All right. So we have some really cute precision buffers in a heart. Have you ever seen like, come on guys. Have you ever seen a heart shaped? I've never seen it in, in the uh, grit 180. So that's really cute. So when you want to buff your nails, you just have this really cute... Oh, I love the name Gelfly. It's just so cute. Buffers. Then we also have some precision profiles. Oh, this is. Oh, I have seen these. So, yeah, you kind of just peel them on, and that's it. I think. I think that's how you do it. That's really cool. So this is size 100, which is nice. So she separated the 100 and the 180. Right, so we have our 180 buffer, and then we have our 100 file. So that is really cool with a little silver file there as well. So we'll definitely be giving it that a try. And then we also have, oh, we have 180 files too. Oh, yay. That's so cool. So we have a 100, and we have 180 file. That's nice. And it's in different colors too, so that you know what the difference is, so that you don't pick up the wrong thing. How cool is that? Really nice. 
should never not have enough files. And then, oh my goodness, we have gel liner brushes. Oh, these are next to my heart. They are so pretty. And I love that they have the sizing on there, 11 millimeters, nine millimeters. I think we, and these are premium gel brushes. We have 15 and seven, and we have a 20 flat brush. So let's have a quick peek at them. So cute. Oh my goodness, they are so cute. Let's have a quick peek. Oh, that's nice. Look at that beautiful. Stunning. I think they're double-sided as well. Look at that. Oh, they're so nice. So pretty. Oh, I can't wait to use these. Oh, I can't wait to use them. What a terrible British accent that was just now. <laughs> All right, let's see how this one looks. All right, this is our 15 mil. Stunning. And this should be the 7 mil over here. Really nice. Y'all don't mind my don't mind my bite up nails. I just um buffed them and filed and did all that stuff because we're gonna be putting some nails on momentarily. So they are a little bit they are dehydrated, so they look really dry, and I didn't wanna do too much to the nails. Um all right, and here is our 20 millimeter. Oh, this is the flat brush, sorry. So that's the flat brush there. And Look at that long, long brush. Look at the size of that. French tip for days. Okay, so that is our three beautiful brushes in gorgeous packaging. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, what is this box here? I think that's the last product inside here. Let me just move this big box out of the way. So we basically have everything, guys. We have a rubber base coat and um, we have a gel glue. And she sent all of the files that you need to apply them as well as the buffer to do your prep. So only thing you really need to do is just dehydrate your nails and primer. So what I'm gonna do is uh, for, my, for my order, I'm gonna order from her her full set, uh, her dehydrator, I think she has a primer and she also has a top coat just so that I have everything else. She also has gel polish on her website as well so that's going to be in my next order oh my goodness what is this whoa oh my gosh it's a lamp wow what i have never seen oh my goodness look at this lamp this is a fancy lamp eh Oh, there's a flash. This one of the, um, maybe the flash cure lamp. Wow. Oh my goodness. And it moves too. So it moves. And uh, wow, how much bulbs we have underneath here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have 10 bulbs. 10 bulbs underneath here. Let me look at this. This is one. This is my lamp here from. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this one has eight and this has 10. But what I just have to do is I just hold it here and I just press the button and I go underneath it. But with this one, you can actually, you know, you have a lot of space to uh, flash cure your nails. That is so cool. Flash cure nail lamp. That is amazing. Isn't that innovative? Wow 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 you know what let me just turn this on that is so cool i don't know what else to say you guys i really don't know what else to say i'm very happy i'm very happy to have this and i can continue to use this one instead because i have so much more space let me just quickly plug this in so we could just do a quick demo and the plug on this is really long so i'm happy about that because I had to, oh, here we go. Let's try and figure out just now. Okay, let me not break it before I even get a chance to use it. Okay, and it's not that heavy as, as well, so shouldn't have any issues. Oh my goodness, wow, look at that. You just hold it underneath and, oh, I can feel the heat as well. Good amount of heat as well. So just hold it in place. 
Interesting. Just like that, and a small tap and it's on, and a small tap that it's off. That is so, so cool. You gotta be careful though. You don't wanna. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. All right, let's 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 get some nails on now, guys. I've already prepped my nails um, off camera, and uh, I've already filed the nail tip using my Melody Susie drill. Just gonna clear this area off, and then we're gonna go ahead and apply some nails. Um, Gelfly, a huge thank you for sending me these amazing products. Amazing products, guys. Um, I don't know what else to say, but let's get some nails on. I'm just applying a little bit of primer to the inside of the nails where I've already filed. I've used my um, drill to etch the inside of the nails and now I'm just going in with primer uh, to add a chemical etching. Guys, if you are looking for a small business to support, again, I think I've mentioned this in uh, previous videos before, definitely this is one of those brands to support. Um, funny enough, I actually have a little nail book. I don't know if you guys have nail books where you write down all your ideas and you write down like brands that you want to support this year. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person that does that. But uh, I had written, I actually had written down Delphily. I was um, writing down a few brands that I came across to purchase rubber base gels from because I'm currently obsessed with rubber base gels. And Delphily was one of the brands I wrote down. And just like that, they just reached out. Like, that's why it's always good to, I don't know, just be positive and um, keep, uh, keep a positive outlook on whatever plans it is that you have to do for your nail set. Just thought I'd share that with somebody. I don't know need to hear that, but um, whatever brands you want to work with or whichever brands that you enjoy their content and, you know, engage with them. Engage with them, like, share, comment support them it doesn't always have to be financial you know because all of us a lot of us don't have a ton of money i i definitely don't and uh, wherever i do have it i try to I, this year i want to focus on supporting a lot of um small businesses i put the primer away i need to put some on my hand as well so get your little nail book guys write down your intentions for this year what do you want to do what goals you want to set do you know don't be too caught up on the numbers don't worry about growing and getting all these subscribers and stuff. They will come, subscribers and followers. They will come when they are ready to come. You need to make sure that you are delivering content and you are giving them something to come for. So stay true to yourself. Keep doing what you like to do and uh, the rest will come. Get started on that YouTube channel. I think some of you guys have mentioned that you wanted to start channels this year. Just get started. Just start posting. Allow your personality and your creativity and what you enjoy doing and your passion and stuff to come out you know if you get ugly nails if your nails bite up like mine don't worry about it there's a place for you <laughs> there's a place for bite up ugly nails there's a place for pretty nails there's a place for alien thumbs <laughs> all right i'm gonna let this dry and then we're gonna go ahead and apply the nails on um Thanks for listening to my TED talk. <laughs> okay, so let's get started on applying our nails. I'm just gonna do one on camera because it's pretty much the same thing. And uh, what I like to do is apply to the nail and then I'll apply a very thin layer onto my natural nail. You know, I, <clears throat> you know what I also um, like about her nail glue? You see the brush? See how it's uh, kind of rounded to the tip? And once you press it down, it expands. And you can actually get to the corners without uh, flooding the nail. You know what I forget to do? I forgot to put some peel off onto my skin because I messed it up. And, um, 
Uh, sometimes I get glue on it, which kind of damaged the hypernipicum area. So be careful, guys. If you feel like you're not uh, really good at avoiding products spilling onto your skin, there is products available. Wear a latex or a peel off kind of thing. Don't mess up your fingers. Don't mess up your skin. Remember, we're taking care of ourselves this year. All right, I'm gonna let that dry before I um, put the nail on. Okay, so now we can go ahead and apply our nail and we are going to push that underneath the cuticle and then allow that glue to come all the way down to the free edge. Try to um, get all the air bubbles out. See my nail is so flat. I still have a few air bubbles in there. But I'm okay with just two or three. As long as those air bubbles aren't to the cuticle or to the free edge, I'm okay with that because then I get that'll cause lifting. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna flash cure that very briefly. I'm gonna turn that off. And then if there are any spillage to the side, just gonna go ahead and try to remove that before it cures completely. How oh, many spillage over there? Just over here. All right. We got two little air bubbles in there, but again, that's because my finger is really, really flat. Oh, that is nice and flush to the skin as well. All right. Now I'll just go ahead and do the others. Okay, so now the nails are all on and I absolutely love them. Oh my gosh, they are absolutely perfect. They fit me from side wall to side wall. They are the perfect length and they it's not too too much of a of an apex, but the apex is there, it's just not too much and not so bulky oh my gosh absolutely love them so what i'm going to do is this is the 180 side of the um the file so i'm going to try to peel this off and put this onto the silver and then we're just going to go around the cuticle area just to make sure that is a little bit more flush to the natural nail then we're going to get the buffer and we're going to buff off the surface shine of the nail Let's see if i can actually uh Figure it out. Um, so cool. So, so cool. That's really pretty. Okay, let's see. How do we get this off? And I believe you just peel off the back part here, right? And then you just kind of line it up as best as you, oops. Why is that? There we go. I think that's where I wanted to go. Bam! Just like that. How cool is that? How cool? Never stop learning, guys. <laughs> Never stop learning. Okay, let's take the next side off. That was actually really cool, guys. This is my first time. Um, with one of these. I think Conjure Up, Christine from Conjure Up was telling me about these type of files, but I never got around to getting one. And they should be much stronger as well because they have the silver thing. So when you file it, shop, crispy. Okay, and then I have the buffer here. So we're just gonna go ahead and use the 180 side and we're just gonna, oh, that's strong now. Really, really strong. I'm just gonna go around the sides just to make sure it's nice and flush. And if there's any extra product, I'm just gonna go ahead and use that to remove. Guys, go and support um, Gelfly. Amazing, amazing product. A little bit of, um, works really nice. Right, and then we're gonna take the uh, buffer here. Oh, it has 180 and it has 100. That's really cool. Uh, I'm going to use the 100 side just to kind of scratch it up and remove the surface shine. Now, usually I like to use primer. But I'm going to be uh, going on with a base gel, rubber base gel overlay. Um, I like to use clear, but this time I think I want to go with this uh, Milana here. 
So we're just gonna give this a nice buff. And remove all the surface shine off the nail just to make sure that the rubber base can adhere properly. This is so cute and so handy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, so my nails are knife, nice and buffed. And uh, I put, I wiped them down with a little bit of a dehydrator, isopropyl alcohol, and one of these little alcohol prep pads. And they are looking beautiful. Love, 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 love. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch Milana, the premium rubber base gel on my swatch stick just to see what the color looks like because again in case i want to do like clear nails i uh, just want to see something so it looks absolutely stunning so what we do is like i always say you go in with a slip layer first ah uh, that is the most beautiful nude rubber base on the planet absolutely gorgeous she look, she's going on sheer as well, so that is really, really nice. <clears throat> That's what one cover looks like. That is a universal nude complexion. Look how beautiful it is, eh? Oh my goodness. Right, so and then now we're just gonna go in with a bigger blob. Again, I'm gonna put that big blob right there on that cuticle area. And we're gonna push upwards towards the cuticle and then we're going to just drag it on down just keep an eye on the brush because um sometimes it can um drip down lovely color so and even when you when you apply it on thickly um, gets a little bit more opaque. That is gorgeous. Let's go around the sides here. Now we're just gonna go over the sides here. Just drag that down a little bit. We're gonna look at it sideways to see if there's anything else. Just a tiny little bit in the center here. Just gonna fill that in. And I think I'm satisfied with that. Beautiful, look at that. No pooling, no moving, no nothing. Absolutely stunning product. I'm gonna give this a cure for 60 seconds. All right, guys. So again, here is a final look at, uh, this is Svetlana here. And this is Helen. And bear in mind that I only did one coat on these two. And Milana, I did a two coats on that. So that's why that one looks a little bit more opaque. But those are the three rubber-based gels from... Uh, gel fully all right guys so that's basically all that i wanted to show you in terms of uh, soft gel application and um i have um i have some nail art that i'm going to be doing on these nails so i'm just going to go in with some clear rubber base coat on these nails and uh thank you so much for watching again guys feel free to support gel fully i think I should be getting a discount code for these. If I'll reach out to Gelfully and ask them for a discount code for you guys so that you can save a little bit um, on these uh, products if you are interested. Just give me, uh, if I don't have it in this video, I'll definitely find out. All right. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.